Number 19. What is the intensity of a sound that has a level 7 decibels lower than a 4 times 10 to the minus 9 watts per meter squared sound? All right. So for letter A, uh, let's write it over here. So for letter A, I can basically got to do this in a couple of steps. I'm not going to do it all in terms of formula substitutions and whatnot. I'm going to do it in a series of steps. So basically they gave us an intensity. Okay. We know a formula that converts intensity, which is always written in watts per meter squared. Well, not always, but I mean the standard unit for intensity will be watts per meter squared. Uh, basically power per area. And we have a formula that can then take this intensity and convert it into decibel, into a decibel level. So let's do that. So dec decibels beta is going to be equal to 10 multiplied then by the log of base 10 of the intensity that's being heard, basically divided by the threshold of hearing, which is I sub O, which is also 10 to the minus 12th. All right. So if I want to find then the decibel level of a 4 times 10 to the minus 9 sound, sound all I got to do is plug it on in, right? So this is going to be beta is then equal to 10 multiplied by the log base 10 of 4 times 10 to the minus 9, all divided by 10 to the minus 12th. And voila, just plug it on in. So 10 times then log of 4 times 10 to the minus 9th divided by then 10 raised to the minus 12th. And what do we get? We get about 36. Okay, so this is 36 decibels. dB. dB. Now, that's not the answer, but... Now it says we want to find the intensity of a sound that has a level 7 decibels lower right, than that value. So now if this was the value I'm starting with, if that's the decibel value, now I want to find the intensity when the sound is seven decibels less. So all I got to do is now subtract seven decibels from this. What are we left with? Well, we're left with now a decibel value of 29 decibels. And now guess what I need to do to this value? I need to now convert this into, it's asking us what is the intensity. So now I'm going to convert this into intensity I. How do I do that? I'm going to use the formula again, right? Again, decibel value is going to be equal to 10 multiplied by the log base 10 of the intensity of the sound you're hearing divided by the threshold of hearing, which is 10 to the minus 12th. The decibel value now is 29, and that's going to equal 10 then times then the log base 10 of then I over 10 to the minus 12th. I know my handwriting is getting sloppy. Divide out the 10 from the right-hand side and on over to the left, so that's going to be 2.9 is then equal to log of base 10 times i over 10 to the minus 12th. And simply now we got to get rid of the log because we got to solve for i. So now we have to base 10 both sides basically. So write a 10 and then raise the left hand side up as the exponent. Same thing with the right. Base 10, raise this whole thing up into the exponent. So it's log base 10 of then i over 10 to the minus 12th. And simply this goes bye-bye. And this then comes back down to be now a, a, a real, not a real value, but it's not an exponent anymore, okay? So this now becomes i all over 10 to the minus 12th. Now all you got to simply do is basically just cross multiply, all right? So this is now, the intensity will be then, you can plug this into the calculator, or you can just do rules of, Right, since you're multiplying these two uh, same, similar bases, you can just add those exponents. So this would be simply 10 raised to the, uh, oh my goodness, my brain, my, <laughs> my brain is like fried at the moment. Uh, this would be negative 9.1. I'm not really sure. It's getting a little late. Let's see, negative 12 plus 2.9. Don't judge me. Yeah, negative 9.1. Okay. So now we can just, if you wanted to, just simply plug that in if you needed a decimal value. Uh, this is going to be then 7.94, 7.94 times 10 to the minus 10th. And that's in watts per meter squared. All right, and that would be the value. That's the intensity. So now it says, what is the intensity of a sound that is three decibels higher than the four times 10 to the minus 9th sound? So basically now, instead of this is the original decibel value of the 4 times 10 to the minus 9 sound, but instead of subtracting 7, now I want to uh, add 3, right? So basically, I'm not going to go through the whole calculation again, all right? I'm going to just do it quickly, um, just because my, my hand is about to fall off. So uh, the decibel, the new decibel value here, when you add 3 to it, or I should say the new beta value, 
is simply going to be then uh, 39. 39 decibels. Now all you would do is take the 39 and then plug it in as you did here. You're literally following the same math, mathematical steps. All right, I'm going to solve it though. All right, so let me try to do this. So there's going to be 3.9. So this is basically 10 raised to the uh, 3.9. What happened here? 10 raised to the 3.9. And then that's going to be uh, multiplied then by 10 raised to the minus 12. Okay, so this works out to be now uh, about 7.94. So 7.94 times 10 to the minus 9th now. Okay, cool. Not the same number. It is different, right? That's to the minus 9th. Okay. And uh, yeah, cool. All right. So we are good to go. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please remember to subscribe and we will see you next time. Have a good day.